Good morning, you guys. So today I'm going to start filming the documentation of me working on a big surprise for Skylie. So we are just two weeks away from her eighth birthday. I cannot believe she's eight. I feel like she just turned seven. It's just crazy how much time has gone by. I'm working on something really special for her and I'm gonna try to pull it off. <laughs> I know I can pull it off in time. I am just hoping I can pull it off without her knowing. I want to surprise her um, on her birthday with her own room. She has just blossomed into such a little girl and I just, I call it a pre-preteen because she's clearly not a preteen by definition, but she's in that pre-preteen stage where she likes doing um, different things than she used to do. She likes to lounge, watch TV, talk to her friends, play in makeup, but she's just, she's just growing up. And right now she shares a room with her brother and her sister, which hasn't been for very long. Um, she shared a room with her brother for her whole life basically, but she's getting to that age and I've mentioned it to her just to kind of pick her brain and show her some things I was thinking about doing for the room so that obviously I could kind of like we could be on the same page you know so I've been really thinking okay let's do that for her birthday let's make that like this big birthday surprise I have like these ideas in my head of things I want to do so I've been trying to pull it all together today I'm gonna go do some shopping so last night we got the first thing for it I found a dresser on like marketplace sale or whatever because what I really wanted was this like vintage looking dresser. That's what I pictured in my head and they were very hard to find and I found the perfect one. I want to update it and repaint it and it has lights on. I mean, it is really, really cool. I have ideas, they're all up in here. But I'm so excited and I want to share it with you guys, me redoing the room. So the room that she is going in is the playroom, which I know if you've been following me, you're like, you just did it over quarantine, which I did. I painted it white. Um, and I put these cute polka dots and I love it. I don't want to see it go, but it's going to be easier to turn that room into her room because Griffin stuff is already in the other room. That bed that Griffin sleeps in and Skyly 2 now is a loft bed and I would have to take it apart to move it. So it's just going to be easier if I don't. So I've got to be smart about it and, and sneaky and I, I really, really, really want to try to pull it off. So. I'm gonna take you along on this journey and I hope you guys enjoy. And at the end of this video will be the reveal with her reveal and stuff. So I've been dreaming about it literally the last several nights, so I can't wait, but let's get started. So I'm proceeding with caution as I walk in here right now because it is a mess. Like I said, it is the playroom and it is a wreck. So this is what it looks like now. I'm gonna leave this wall gray because the bed the headboard and stuff of the bed is white, so I'm planning on putting the bed here. I'm gonna put her desk right here that she already has right here with her shelves that I'll show you in a second above them, her new dresser thing here, and nothing on this wall. I think I wanna put her artwork like gallery wall on that wall, I think. I want to take these XOXO letters right here and maybe put them all on one line above her new dresser that I got. Hopefully that will work. I want to keep some of this artwork. Um, this is the thing of books that I would like to put over her desk, which is right here. I painted this, the bottom and the top. I think this whole thing was like red, but I painted it back in the summer when we got it, but I never finished the top. Like I never sealed it or anything. And so the kids have just colored all over it. So I want to repaint the top part, which is super easy to do. Her dresser is like this light blue color right now outside. And Andy really wants to repaint it, which is fine. I haven't picked a duvet yet. I'm getting her a duvet cover. I thought I knew what I wanted. Andy kind of talked me out of it for some reason because he just does that sometimes. I'm trying to do the least amount of work as possible as far as like big things like painting a dresser or something because I don't have a whole lot of time between like my busy schedule already since this was just kind of like this last minute let's do this idea we're gonna see how this all goes today is january 29th i'm gonna go pick griffin up from school and then i'm going to run by home goods and target i've been looking a lot online and getting some ideas but i kind of want to go see what's in person in these places and i need to get like a couple little things so if i can get little things over time like that's i'm good with that too so
first coat. No, I need to do all these drawers. <laughs> I'm gonna get some wallpaper liner, I think, to do the bottom of the drawers, because some of them are kind of conspicuous. And then I still need to do the top part. So here's the top part, I know I didn't show you guys, but it's in there. I'm painting with this chalk paint. This is the brush I'm using, and the color is Sherwin-Williams Romance. And I think it is going to look really, really good. Just got the hardware on. It looks so good. Haven't got it completely put together yet, but these look so good. I got these on Amazon. And we just spray painted these for the light fixtures and the hinges for the other drawers. This is what he got at Walmart. Just got her duvet cover in. The shams. This is the rainbow sky. It's got a bunch of colors in it, but it's so pretty. I picked up the mirror for this dresser today. So we got this cut at a local place. Let me guys tell you what I did. So yesterday I was like, will you call and see if they can do this and how long it'll take them? And I had wrote down measurements, but I wrote down the wrong measurements because I'm dyslexic sometimes with numbers and I flip my numbers, okay? So he went and picked up the glass and brought this home, this little square, and I was like, uh-oh. As soon as he walked in with this, I was like, that's not gonna work <laughs> because there's the space. And so we had to get another one cut. <laughs> So, uh, hope he loves me anyways. But yeah, he had another one cut and I went and picked it up today. So we're gonna put that in when he gets home today. I also got this in today, like a wallpaper peel and stick. And I tried to do it and it was freaking agitating me. I tried to use an X-Acto knife and it didn't even really work well. I need to get scissors, I guess, and like measure, but it's freezing cold out here. So I just kind of gave up for a second, but I wanna line these drawers, just the bottom part, just cause I mean, you know, they're not all like this. They're pretty clean for the most part, but just like a fresh base. So I thought this would be pretty good. It's just like this little geometric shape. I've been keeping this under a drop cloth, but Skylie's not here today. I'm not showing my face because I got a microneedling session done today, but I also got a ton of stuff today for the room, like her bed, uh, bedding, like the duvet cover and sheets and a rug for her room and a lamp and basically everything. I'm just waiting for the rest of it to get delivered. Um, from like Amazon and Etsy, so yay, so exciting. Andy and I just brought this in, oh my gosh. I am so obsessed with how this turned out. I literally, this is one of the proudest moments I think of my life, <laughs> it was all the work that went into this. We killed it. You guys know what this looked like before and I just love it so much. I'll show you the drawers, lined them with this beautiful paper. Turn these on so you can see how this looks when it's all lit up. It's They're really bright, but they're the same light bulbs as the ones up in the overhead. Let me turn this overhead off. And it's kind of coming off bright on camera, but it actually looks so good in here. And I'm not normally big on these really bright lights. This was the side table that was already in here. I got a miniature version of our lamps in the living room. This also has that same bulb in it. And then Andy hung my curtains and my curtain rod. Both are from Amazon. I'm gonna have a whole Amazon board on everything I ordered for this room because I did get a lot. We don't have the bed in here yet because I don't have the mattress yet, but I just couldn't wait any longer. I had to do something in this room. So we shampooed the carpets today. I got a rug. We haven't put it in here yet, but I love the basket. I ended up putting it right here because we had enough space. I was about to open up this. I have a hatch in the um, kids room right now. We had it when Lorelai was a baby and I love it. Definitely one of the must-haves if you are 
pregnant put it on your registry and so Skylie is used to sleeping with one and I just think they're so nice so I actually got her the rest plus which has the um, time on it as well since she's older so this one's great it does all the same things it has all the lights I can control it from my phone so I can like do a setting so when it's time for her to wake up it will wake her up I just love the hatch these hatch, hatches so much. I'm so freaking excited, you guys. This room, Andy was like, it looks so good. And it's not even like, even close to being done. I just want to give you guys a update because I haven't really updated in a while because we've kind of been in this standstill period. We got the TV off the wall today too and all that and patched up that hole where the, the mount was. I got all the stickers off, which was definitely something that broke my heart to do, but they definitely needed to go for the room. So anyway. I will see you guys with more updates when I get to them. We can pretend that we're just friends, yeah. But who are we kidding? get this closet cleared out switch the clothes around and all of those fun things and then I hang these letters up above there on that wall and I ordered pictures of her with her friend and family and stuff and I'm gonna put them on here really cute later just moving along I just put the shoe rack together I got this on Amazon I have a whole Amazon board with all the things I got for this room but this is so cute I'm really impressed it wasn't super expensive I put it together in probably five minutes and it's about to go in the closet and then I'm gonna put all her clothes away and figure out where they need to go in here <laughs> We are one day away from the big reveal and I cannot even wait. I just have a few more things to do in here. I'm gonna hang these things up on this wall right here. There's one piece that I ordered on Etsy that's not gonna be here in time. So I'm gonna have to figure that out later whenever it comes in. It's this really cool pop art picture of Ariana Grande because Skylie loves her and I thought that would look really cool in the gallery wall, but I'm not gonna have it in time. So I'm gonna hang up what I do have, which is mainly stuff from her other um, room when I had it done. And then I did frame some of her artwork that I thought was cute. I did get the letters hung up and I framed these really cute pictures of her with her friends and her cheers team. So I just got some, I just took some cute pictures I had of like her and Alexa and Andy and me and the kids um, and her friends from school and cheer. And I put a washi tape around some of them and I hung them up there with some magnets. We need to put this bed skirt on. I'm gonna hang this hook for her backpack. I just need Andy to screw that in. I put her little S letter there with her perfume and all her clothes are put away. So we are almost <gasps> complete and I'm so excited did get this desk area all done up. Um, I don't know if it's completely complete, but it's pretty good. She had a chair here and I have no idea where it went now. I got her a, her own phone charger. We always kind of had to end up sharing them, but I did get her her own. So that's right there, it was plugged up. And then her closet is all done. So everything is pretty much done. And then there's still room to grow. Obviously, the, I really wanted to get her a neon sign to put behind her bed, but it wasn't gonna get here in time. Um, so I think that's something I'm going to do after the fact. I thought neon like eyes lashes that were closed would look cute or I don't know. I'll think about it. It would be cute there. But this has just come together and I can't even wait for tomorrow, which is her birthday. 
and the full reveal. So I'll do a full overview as soon as I get all this stuff done. All right, so I just hung up the other stuff. I put this sweet picture over here because it didn't go on the gallery wall very well. And I just love it. So I put it there for right now just to throw that right there. If you haven't seen it before, it's the sweetest little picture of Skyly the first time we went to Disney meeting Belle. And it was just the sweetest moment. And it melts my heart. And honestly, this probably brings me more love than it does her. But I think it's such a good little thing, just a reminder to, you know, never stop dreaming and believing in all the magic. So, and then come around. I had to wash two pillowcases because Blue jumped on them. And yeah, so those are in the dryer right now. But I hung these pieces here. And it's not perfect by any means. Like, I'm not completely happy with it, but it does bring fun spunk to the room. I am waiting on that Ariana Grande picture to come in, but this will work for now and I can kind of build off of it. So like I said, it just brings balance with all the same colors. Everything's up over here and put together. Got her little house shoes there. And then Andy hung this hook here so she can put her backpack on it, which I don't have right now, but perfect for her backpack. This I will link below if you want it. It's actually a bath hook, but it's perfect for backpacks very simple and that is it so i'll get the other pillowcases on here and i cannot wait for tomorrow i'm so excited skyly we have one more thing for you you have to close your eyes i'm scared hang on just a second okay Your own room with your own space. Griffin's kept the secret too. Can you believe that? Yeah. He, yeah, I did a great job. You did a great job, and I'm so proud of you. You kept that secret. <laughs> I know it's a lot to take it. I have my very own life special mirror. And put pictures up there. Look. I put a picture of you and in uh, yeah. And me and mommy. And your cheer. And me and Alexa and me and my cheer outfit. And all your stuff's over there in your desk. Oh, <laughs> now you can put your nice blanket on here and you got. You gonna go grab it. High five, dude. Oh. You kept that a secret. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Let me see. I'm, I'll help you put this stuff away. Yeah, I love it. And this was the one that I asked for. I know. I remember I was kind of showing you getting an idea. And I was asked for that today. A new bed. And I asked for this jacket too. Did you? Uh huh. Remember? And I organized like, all your clothes, and I went through all your clothes, and got all the stuff that didn't fit. Got you some new uniforms that are already put away. This blanket is nice. You got this just at the right time. I have my own desk. You painted it. I repainted it, so it was all clean. Got some good little scrabbles. I put your flashcards in here with your other little things. So if you're laying in bed, you can do those. Put your lip balm in there. Why? Well, you I got you your own. So you can my have, own. So it has. I a, love it. It has a noise maker. It also has the clock on it, and it so it'll make a noise when you wake up and all kinds of stuff. And I can watch this. I can talk to you on it. Oh, I'll have to get my phone, but I can talk to you on it too. Put your moisturizer in here too. What you think? You like this? Space for the big girl. Keep working hard. And my journal is in there. You have all your notebooks are in there. Where's my picture?